Hey, good morning guys. Uh, so, I had a couple of comments asking about the bathroom in the motorhome. Now, the reason that I've gotten these comments is because most people, you know, they don't really know what a motorhome is. And they don't know what an, uh, the inside of one looks like. And, you know, motorhomes also known as RVs, known as recreational vehicles. They're kind of self-contained houses. Little, they're, they're kind of like tiny houses on wheels. That's basically what it is, a tiny house on wheels. It's got the, the bedrooms back there, nice big bedroom. Uh, bathroom, of course. Shower. Kitchen area. Yeah, you know, all that good stuff. I mean, it's just, it's, it's a pretty nice motor home. It's not huge. Um, there's ones that are a lot bigger than this one. Um, but this is this is a, this one's that are smaller. Uh, this one's a nice size though. Uh, it's bigger than the last one I had. It's a different design. The one that I had last time was called a cab over, where the bed is over the driver's section. So instead of having that nice big window area, uh, you know, with the seats and everything, what you would have is you would have um, a, ca a, uh, a section above that that would stick out over the top of the vehicle where you would sleep. And uh, those those are, are a lot more difficult to drive than these kinds because with the cab over there's blind spots. And uh, people tend to try to cut motor arms off. Uh, I was filling up with putting some gas in this one yesterday and I literally had to lean on the horn uh, in order to get people to slow down, to pay attention, to give me some room. Because they were ready to just cut in front of me and do all kinds of weird, crazy crap that, you know, people do here in L.A. Uh, so anyway, yeah, it has water. You know, and if I choose to turn the heater on, I can have hot water, but, you know, it's pretty good temperature right now it doesn't need heated and besides it saves propane and if you also want to save propane and water i mean if, if there's a way if you don't absolutely need to use water or propane or a lot of that other stuff then don't because it saves money i mean it takes me um it takes me quite a uh, quite a while to drive to where i can uh you know, dump the tanks and get it filled and all that other good stuff. So, you know, I try not to do that too often. Uh, so anyway, I've got my, uh, I've got the rubber gloves, dustpan, Lysol, which is important. Uh, I have a broken center, so I've got that covered up right now. Um, but in the future, I'm going to have to get that uh, fixed. So, but yeah, it's got, you know, mirrors and cabinets and all that good stuff. I've got the garbage can in here. This cabinet, I've got laundry detergent and trash bags I bought yesterday and toilet paper. You need a special kind of toilet paper for the, um, the motorhome because the, the problem is, and I'll, and I'll show you, I'll show you, basically. This stuff, like you use in your house compare see how thick it is not sure how well you can see that how thick it is but i mean it's it's thick it's cushiony it's it's really really soft it's just really uh you know it, it's it's gonna chunk up and see how much thinner this is i mean you can see through this stuff and it's still durable uh, but what it does is it's more biodegradable where this stuff this stuff turns into paper mache and What happens is if you use this stuff in your toilet You're gonna end up with paper mache. You're gonna end up with something that You're not gonna be able to dump. You're not gonna. It, it's just gonna. It's gonna clog stuff up It's gonna fill it up and it's really hard to get it to uh, Get it to degrade Whereas this stuff, it degrades pretty easily, and yet it's still pretty durable. And this is pretty cheap. Um, 
<clears throat> bought it at Walmart, you know, it took me about two hours to get to Walmart on the bus, but, you know, what are you going to do? I mean, it's, it's worth it to get it, you know, because if you try to use this stuff, you're just going to end up with all kinds of mess. Uh, so, people ask me, how do you, how do you flush the toilet? Well, that little gray thing, yeah, you know, so you just pull that, there goes the water, and to clean the toilet a little bit later. Um, that, that, that's one thing, because, because the motorhome is so small, because it is a tiny home, it's gonna, it's gonna get dirtier faster, so you really have to clean up a lot more. Um, I, I considered maybe hiring a maid, um, because, I, well, I mean, there's, the, where, the, where, the area where I'm parked, there's plenty of young, you know, Hispanic, Mexican women who, you know, I pay them 10 bucks, they'd probably do the whole, clean the whole thing for me. Um, the reason that I have that arrow there is because, uh, as you can see, it's, it's, it's a pretty long drop for the uh, stuff to get down into the septic sewage tank. You know, that's a good six inches and then plus another four or five. So you, you got probably a good, I don't know, 10 inch drop. So if it, if it gets clogged with toilet paper or other stuff, um, then, uh, you know, even the stuff will clog it sometimes. So what, ha what you have to do is you have to take like the arrow, put the gloves on, take the arrow and, you know, squish it, you know, just kind of push it down as best you can. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's clean, it's sanitary. I do need to clean a little bit better though. Let's see, you know, again, it's, it's lived in, obviously. Now somebody might ask me, well, what do you do about the shower? What do you do about the shower? You know, don't you shower? Well, yeah, I do shower, but I shower at the gym because uh, it's just, again, it's about water conservation. If I can spend a monthly membership of the gym, it's gonna be a lot less than me having to fill up every week or so. Um, another trick with the water I've learned, um, but, well, first I wanna show you this, right? Okay, one trick I've learned with the shower thing, with the shower door, is basically what happens a lot of times is when you're driving, the, um, the door, the door will want to like bounce around and bounce open, but if you keep tape over it like this, when you're driving and making those turns, it's not going to do anything. Where if you don't have it and you're driving, this will swing all over, it'll smack around, it might get broke. It's a really bad situation. Um, again, the shower, the problem with the shower, and I, I do need to buy a bottle of Clorox. Um, and get some of this stuff cleaned up a little bit better. But what I'm doing with the water is when I go fill up the water tank, um, I'm also filling up jugs of water. I bought this for like, I found it for like five bucks at a, at a store and it didn't have a cap. I guess that's why it was so cheap. So that's, that's a balloon right now. Um, you know, cue the condom jokes. Uh, let me give you a big shot of that. So, you know, and then five seconds of silence so that people can, you know, make the condom joke. Okay, there we go. Uh, I'm sure they'll be able to uh, do something with that. <laughs> um, you know, I, I mean, it's a good shower, but it uses up a lot of water. And I, I've discovered, just like going through some of these even, I'm using about uh, five gallons a day, and that's a lot of water. Uh, so I've, I've learned how to cut my water use down. Um, now the shower does not go into the same... There's two different tanks, okay? Or three. There's one for fresh water. Uh, there's another where all the water comes out of. Then there's... The, uh, what's called the gray water tank, which is where water from like a drain like this and the sink comes from, goes to. And then there's the black water tank, which is, you know, the sewage. Um, I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty easy to uh, take care of this. I mean, when, when it gets closer to summer and they start selling those in uh, stores, it, they're kind of hard to find in the winter. But I'm going to buy about 
uh, probably depending on how much they are, buy about four or five more and then just uh, use that for the water. These things are BPA free. So that means in the summer, it's not going to get um, as, as uh, hot as, it's not going to have that plastic taste the way it's used. Well, I mean, you live just in the sun for a couple hours. I mean, it's going to taste like plastic. So, you know, come summertime, those uh, little gallon things will be gone or they'll be in the refrigerator uh, cooling. Uh, you, know, it's, you know, a lot of it is all about conservation of energy. You know, it's like if you buy something that's going to spoil, you eat it relatively quick. If you buy something that's going to um, go bad, you eat it really quick. You do as much as you can to kind of conserve what you have. So you're not as wasteful. You know, there's the refrigerator. I got to clean that too later. Uh, which has some light back on, and yeah, I bought these at Costco. These are pretty good. Uh, how long does it take me to get to Costco? It, it almost takes me about as long as it takes me to get to Walmart. So I mean, it's just it's, but it, it's worth it. I mean, it really is worth it. Um, I try not to drive the motorhome around too much, just because it's not uh, conducive to spend gas money. So it's like this one one big problem with motorhomes is the gauges will lie. Like see right now the battery the battery says it's only at zero to nine volts. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna turn on the generator. See there we go, and turn on the generator. Generator is running, it's already brighter in here. Turn some of these lights off. But, uh, <coughs> yes, water pump's on. This is the uh, water pump, water heater. Uh, coffee pot's going. I have plenty of gas, plenty of water. The holding tanks are liars. I don't know. I don't know why, because it's like, I, I emptied, I'm not even sure why it's showing the fresh water is down that low. Because I just, I just filled it yesterday. So, um, yeah, I dumped it and filled the fresh water yesterday. So, these gauges, they're not always accurate. You might actually have more of something than you think, or you might actually have less of something than you think. And, uh, yeah, it's, you know, the tin foil on the windows to keep the sun out. Um, but that's, that tends to be a summer problem. Yeah. I mean, I, I like this motorhome, but I definitely need to make some more money to uh, um, get some of the things fixed. There's a the table, all that good stuff. I, I need to replace the, uh, the linoleum, because that was already cracked when I bought it, but it, it, it's, it's pretty good. It's a pretty good little motorhome. Um, but yeah, that's basically the tour of, uh, you know, once again, if you guys want to, you know, I mean, it's, it's a good bathroom. It really is. I mean, I don't know why people sit there and, you know, complain to me that, oh, Nick, you're, you know, you're obviously not sanitary. Well, yeah, I am sanitary. I'm, I'm very sanitary. I'm very hygienic. So, uh, yeah. Anyway. It's been a long video, so uh, yeah, stay tuned for more videos of mine that are more pertinent. I thought I'd just go ahead and do a vlog about this stuff, because I know for some for, for some reason, a lot of you are very uh, concerned about my, uh, my toilet habits. Once again, I'll show you that it actually works. You know, anyway. Have a nice day, everybody.